friendly neighborhood bus driver just starting on the outside today so you can see the little touch-up work i've been doing the little red for the uh, emergency exits been adds a super pop to the side <laughs> uh, but i wanted to shoot a video today oh there's a little letter on the back who put that in i wonder who wanted to shoot a video today because something i've been putting off forever is finally happening just step in here. Um, built little frames, I think I mentioned it in the last vlog, for the uh, Goal Zero Yeti 400 system, you can see right here. Um, built it just high enough so that it's secure on that the, the bottom end anyways, but also doesn't block the van and then, uh, or the fans on it. And then uh, I got another piece here that'll push down on top and I'll actually have some latches for uh, when it's traveling because I want to be able to pull this system out and go uh, but what's even more exciting than that is this thing is fully charged Oop, there you can see and we have a refrigerator um, I picked this thing up actually at Walmart last night because it was 60 bucks and that's what everything on Craigslist was uh, and this one has the energy guide star and all that good stuff I'll post the uh, specs in the description and the full blog if you want to click through. This is not ultimately where the fridge is going to go, I don't think, but this is what happens when you build instead of plan and then build. We're kind of building and then planning. But that's okay because the true drum roll is going to be, can this Yeti system run a fridge this big or am I going to go have to return it? So here we go. I did... Uh, I did empty it out last night and uh, test it for cooling. You can see there's some water there on the ground. Um, I did test it just to make sure it ran, and then the instructions said to let it run 12 hours before you move it. So here we go. I'm just hoping the motor kicks on. No input, output, zero watts. Here we go. And then, bam. Well... It's working, but wow, it drained quickly from 80 to 60. We are just going to let that run and see how long it lasts. I wonder if it did that. You know, I haven't actually charged this system since the, um, should be running at about 60. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at it drain. I don't even know what to say right now. <laughs> This fridge may not work. 70 watts. It's supposed to be able to run like a, like a laptop and a monitor, etc. for up to 10 hours. This is still running off of its original charge uh, from the factory. And the motor just kicked on on the fridge. I don't know if you can hear that or whatever back there. Yeah, I think we're just going to let this bad boy run until it runs out of juice and then recharge it entirely and see if it does better the second time around because, man, that is a freaking drain. Good stuff. Well, in the meantime, thanks for watching the video. Sorry for stumbling around here. I've got some paint uh, going up on the inside, too. Just going to get some fresh white. Um, so it pops a little bit. Uh, regardless of whether or not I keep this fridge, I am going to get the Goal Zero, the rest of this system, uh, uh, latch down, but why does it keep fluctuating like that? Fluctuating like that. The motor's on it constant, so. This will be an interesting test indeed. I've noted the time, so I'll let you guys know in the description and the uh, full blog as well how long this actually lasts. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to hit that like button, share it if you feel like it, subscribe if you feel like it. Uh, really appreciate the continued support, and uh, stay tuned for future updates. Stay safe out there, and as always, don't forget to buckle up.